and uh, we had a pretty busy day actually right now. We're getting a bunch of 3D prints done, did a quick locker trip to pick up some uh, materials and supplies. And uh, right now she's out uh, posting a few things in the mail, picking up a few supplies as well. And I'm going to prepare some um, honey garlic chicken drumsticks. We picked up a big pack at uh, Costco the other day and ooh, I'm coming over. <laughs> um, so I uh, figured since we're trying to get on a little bit more often and get a little bit more exposure on the uh, HAPS here that uh, I would uh, come on for a little bit and do that while she's out running errands. And then later on tonight, uh, we're going to get back on doing a little bit more uh, building and creative stuff and take it from there. And I believe that should be um, 7.30 or 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern. So looking forward to seeing everyone on there. So I've pulled up a uh, basic, simple little honey garlic recipe. I have to go eat. Don't go eat yourself. What? Yay, grammar, the English language. <laughs> so lots of fun there. Okay, so I've got about four pounds of drumsticks here. And um, the way I do, uh, the way Christina and I make them is we actually peel the skin back because we try to avoid eating the skin as much as possible. You know, keep your, our, our <laughs> diet as, as low fat as possible. But I'm going to whip up a bunch of the honey garlic sauce and I'm going to toss the drumstick into a couple of big Ziploc bags to marinate them. We're going to get them in the oven later on. Uh, hey, Martin, too late for love. Hey, how are you? Too late for love on through the night. Wow, you really added to your, uh, your profile name. Uh, doing good, doing good. I'm going to make up um, a little marinade to make some honey garlic uh, chicken drumsticks and uh, while Christina's out running some errands. And then uh, when she gets back and later on this evening, we're going to get back on and uh, do a bit of a creative broadcast. We've got some uh, little little Star Wars medallions we paint, uh, we printed last night. We're going to do some painting on those. We've got a little bit of molding and uh, mold making and casting to do. And uh, yeah, chat while we do it. So right now, I'm here. Let's chat while I uh, do the honey garlic stuff. How is everyone tonight? It is a, a cold, cold day in Toronto. We finally got our winter. Um, it was minus uh, 10 degrees Celsius overnight, which uh, I can't remember what the conversion is at this moment, what that converts to in Fahrenheit. I'm sure uh, somebody out there can uh, can uh, do that conversion for me. But um, yeah, so minus 10 overnight. And right now it's minus seven degrees uh, Celsius. It feels like minus 13 with the wind, which is very, very chilly. Christina tried to get herself out just before the sun went down. So it's getting, it's getting a little dark out there right now. So. I'm sure she's going to be very chilly when she gets back. You know, she's got a lot of layers and double socks and winter boots and coat and sweater and yeah, <laughs> that her uh, wrap on top of that. But uh, she's going to walk down. They made me add onto my name or I couldn't finish my profile. Oh, really? Edward, hey, how are you? Great to hear from you again. Uh, Christina mentioned that you're uh, lobbying to get uh, get us interviewed, which is awesome. Looking forward to uh, finding out if that actually uh, goes through or not. So I'm going to start by uh, crushing this garlic. I'm going to get it nice and you know, crushed and minced. So it feels like the teens here in my teens temperature-wise, or or do you have some rowdy teenagers? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it's minus seven degrees Celsius right now, which is kind of crazy, but you know, we've done it our winter. You know, we got uh, a good dumping of snow, about four inches of snow the other day, uh, 10 centimeters. And uh, that's kind of, uh, it's stuck around. You know, we've done the snow clearing, we've been uh, snow plows around, and salt trucks are everywhere. And it's uh, definitely, finally, oh, here in New York, feels like the teens. Sorry, I read that as my, hope you and Christine have been doing well. You're making sounds good. Thank you. We're doing okay. I mean, the stresses are there. And uh, as, as we mentioned in previous broadcasts, we're looking for another place. Um, we have a potential place lined up right now that we're filling out an application for. And uh, again, trying to keep things on, on the low down, uh, keep things low key around here. We just sent an email to the, the current landlord because the new landlord needs a, uh, a form filled out and signed by the old landlord, basically saying, oh yeah, these guys, you know, they pay their rent regularly, et cetera, et cetera. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. I don't think our current landlord is gonna throw us under the bus for anything because he 
it's in his best interest for us to not be in this building anymore. If, uh, you know, they can't handle us and we can't handle them. And it's, uh, you know, he wants, he wants, he told us he wants things to, you know, and part amicably if that's the, the direction we go. Um, you know, it's either that or we, we try and figure out how to, how to manage our, uh, our, our lifestyle and uh, having chicken for dinner myself. Nice, Edward. And, you know, try to manage our lifestyle and uh, deal with the, you know, um, noise pollution in the building. You know, we can't make noise without the neighbors hearing it, and they can't make noise without us hearing it. Uh, there have been a number of times Christine has been trying to do some editing or some live recording uh, for a project, and she can't because there's, you know, music next door or you hear someone crashing furniture or moving furniture around because the place on that side is, um, uh, she's, she lives there as well, the tenant, but she also runs it as a photo studio. Hello, Vince. Hey, how are you? Christina is uh, out running some errands. She'll be back shortly. She's left me the, with the uh, joyous task of making some honey garlic chicken drumsticks. So I'm just working on putting the marinade together. And then later on this evening, we're going to do our, our creative broadcast. I mean, we've already posted that, that up, that it's going to be, uh, I believe, either 7.30 or 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, Vince, uh, spoiler alert, I don't know if it's spoiler alert, Christina's, one of Christina's errands is going to the post office to uh, drop something off to be, uh, to be mailed, if you know what I mean. So keep an eye out for that in the mail. From our first successful print uh, on the new uh, 3 printer. Okay, so that is the garlic. And now it calls for... Now this recipe is for one pound of drumsticks, or actually chicken breast. Chicken, chicken breast, drumsticks, never in a surface area is about the same, right? So um, we have about four pounds, so I pretty much have to quadruple this, but I don't think I'm going to go quite that strong with the honey garlic. And we're going to bake them in the oven later on, uh, later on tonight, probably after the other broadcast, or maybe during the other broadcast, they could just be sitting in the oven baking. Uh, how are things? I just couldn't stay away from you guys because you both always make me happy. We so appreciate that, Vince. You know, it, it's it's definitely a joy having you um, come onto our broadcasts and then comment and then be a guest uh, a guest presenter on our broadcasts and, and likewise uh, for us to join on to yours as well. You know, it's, it's always some entertaining stuff going on and great conversations. And uh, you know, I hope you the uh, uh, the trolls are being kept at bay at the moment. Okay, so that's going to be. Our olive oil and soy sauce. So, but we're doing good. You know, as I was just uh, just saying um, a few minutes ago, we we're putting in the application for that new place that we've been talking about. We just sent a, an email to the current landlord because uh, they need him to sign a form saying we pay our rent on time and that we're not not disruptive, and not destructive, or anything along, along those lines. So. See, so, yeah, I mean, it's in it's in his best interest to not throw us under the bus. So we'll see how that goes. What's next? Uh, oh, of course, honey. You can't have honey garlic without honey. So, uh, try not to make a mess of surfaces here with oils and things. It is a quarter cup of honey. So that's a quarter cup there. So I'm gonna. Uh, can you keep me interested on how prop making works yeah and later on this evening we're going to take those little star wars uh, medallions pendants that we made last night on the on the 3d printer and we're going to get those painting we're going to get uh, painting those and then um, uh, christine has been printing up a few other things today that uh, she's going to pull pull forward to show you guys and uh, start painting and, and detailing that stuff and we have uh, a little bit of mold making uh, to do for that uh, lightsaber that we're building for uh, for our our friend down in the States. All right, let's see if that's good. It's a lot of honey. Well, it's actually not as much honey as it suggests. And it also suggests putting in water, I guess just to make the marinade a little bit more, you know, um, a little more liquid. So there we go. 
I know some recipes call for the honey to be actually heated up ahead of time so it blends in with the other ingredients, but the, the one that I found, I'm noticing, doesn't say that. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm painting the pendant silver or in different colors. Uh, we'll probably pick a few different colors. Um, what Christina likes to do, she likes to do photo finishes and like uh, uh, sort of aging and, and distressing. So we're going to probably paint them a base color and then get a little bit of uh, a little bit of weathering on them and a little bit of you know variation of the tones and stuff like that. So. That's one of, her, one of her specialties. She's more in the organic uh, in terms of building. Uh, she's she's definitely um, developing a lot of skills in the, the mechanical building and, and that sort of thing as well. Uh, we both we both do a lot of the same thing. Uh, a lot of things in, the, in DC, a lot of the projects and that sort of took her away from that part. And we're both actually relearning a lot of these skills. Earlier today, we were trying to figure out how to print something on the printer and what orientation to put it in. And, and uh, yeah, it's it's been actually really cool with this 3D printer. Uh, what orientation to put it in and, and that for the, hey, Newfoundlander, for the least uh, amount of support material, the, the best resolution. You know, you print something one way and it looks like crap because all the lines are going this way, but when you turn it around, you print it that way, all the lines are like this. And they're a lot, like, especially for something like uh, something cylindrical, you stand it upright and all the, your lines are basically little rings instead of vertical lines up and down the whole length of the thing. So we'll see how, what we're doing. Prince, I don't know if I'm doing any spoilers yet because uh, you guys can see it uh, on tonight's broadcast. Okay, so, there we go. So that's our honey garlic marinade. Oh, water, 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 water. Back to this container here. Now, I don't have my, um, my mic on, so I'm hoping everyone can hear, hear well enough. I haven't heard anyone saying they can't hear me. You guys figure out car hunger decals. Um, we have not. We actually haven't, haven't really had much of a chance to play around with that again since uh, since last night. Um, one of the things I need to do, uh, or one of us needs to do, is figure out what the what's happening with the settings on the on the laser. Um, Dremel, the company that makes the laser, provides you with a list of already you know, established materials. They've tested the materials. They've got all the, the speed and the power settings and everything all all dialed in. And for the most part, that works quite well. Sometimes you have to tweak things a little depending on the material, but uh, there wasn't one for the sign vinyl. So uh, I was playing around with it a little bit and I couldn't get a setting that would actually uh, not cut all the way through the vinyl and the backing paper. We want the backing paper to stay intact and just have it be able to, to slice through the vinyl so you can peel it, peel it off the backing paper and stick it down on things. Right? Like, you know, vinyl, like stickers you buy in the store. Right? But uh, it kept cutting all the way through, even though I was turning the power levels down as far as I could and the speed up as fast as I could, but it's still not working right. So I have to do a little research, read their, um, um, uh, the operator's manual and that sort of thing, see what's, what's involved in that. Because it didn't seem like changing the settings was changing uh, how deep it was cutting or how, how much power it was cutting with. So we'll see what happens with that. All right. So. This is going to be fun. So we have a bowl of marinade. Because I like mixing it in a bowl. Christina just puts it in the, in the bag itself. Bishop Jen, hello Fort Lauderdale. Thank you for joining. Glad to hear the incident field. It's, it's always been great to catch up with you and chat a bit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Vince is great. I mean, just uh, being part of being on his broadcast and having him on our blind broadcast. Are we planning to add fire of the exhausted dragon car? Oh, from Drogon? Uh, well, right now we're going to do one of one of our Car Hunger logos. So this basically in vinyl with a background that says Car Hunger 2D to 3D, right? And then um, put that on the bumper or something like that. And we want to do, we want to find a nice dragon image uh, that we can cut out in like a dark gray or a dark green vinyl or something like that and apply to the sides of the car at the back quarter panels. Basically, one of them just just by the gas cap, and the other one matching on the other side. And then eventually, we'll do one of the uh, J Dragon Pirate logos as well, which is the the crossed swords with our our green Welsh dragon above it. And then um, take it that way. So, but we haven't uh, we haven't gotten all of that those files set up yet. All right. So here's the point where I can't touch anything but chicken, because you know chicken. So what we do is uh, we actually pull the pull the skin back. 
to make this recipe. Often it sounds good. We we make a variation of it. So tonight I just uh, thought I'd look a, look a couple of things up online and give it a try. Uh, quite often for recipes we just wing it. So no no pun intended. Disease are from six, but uh, you know. Uh, so I'm hoping I can fit all these. We've got like four pounds of drumsticks here. We're going to put a few trays in the oven tonight and just let them bake. We're going to let them mar marinate for the next two or three hours at least and then take it from there. Um, so she loves doing the marinades, but uh, she had to run out and do some errands and, and get out for some fresh air. I was out earlier today. I went down to the storage locker to pick up some uh, some materials for tonight's broadcast. And um, so she had some computer work to get done and uh, get some 3D prints going. So. Uh, she stayed behind. So unfortunately we didn't get a chance to get out together today, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll take it as it comes. You know, we'll take our turns going out and then maybe on, later on tonight after the broadcast, if the oven is done and the 3D prints are not printing anymore, we'll go out and you know, play some Pokemon or something. So, but yeah, it's been, it's been a, actually a busy, Busy day. Got off to a bit of a late start tonight, because uh, or this morning, because we got to bed fairly late last night after after our broadcast and uh, getting a few other things done and getting some more stuff done on the three D printer. You know, it's it's funny how like time gets away from you. How's the lightsaber build coming along? It's actually coming along quite well. Part of uh, part of tonight's broadcast is we're going to be making a uh, mold to cast the little um, the little black rubber grips at the back end of the lightsaber. Uh, we haven't done a huge amount of work on the lightsaber in the past few days because of uh, everything else going on. Um, not sure if you were aware that uh, uh, that we are going to be moving again. At least Christina is out out and about for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So maybe later on we'll go for a little walk or something or drive somewhere and go to some place in Pokemon. Of drumsticks, which I lost count of how many are in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So if I put 11 in here, and I can put 11 in the other one, then we're even. Yeah, it should take her about an hour round trip, and she left about five minutes. Uh, yeah, well, with uh, neighbors that don't like us doing broadcasts at uh, nine or ten o'clock at night, where we're talking. Uh, you know, well, you know how we get during a broadcast, you know, loud and, and ag uh, energized and that sort of thing. Well, we had a couple of neighbors going, you know, making so much noise and talking so loudly and everything. And so, uh, plus the, uh, the building's not really the, the best laid out for, for residential. I mean, it's, it's commercial space, right? So, uh, a few issues going on there. So we're, uh, we're looking around and, uh, we may have a place figured out uh, that we're going to be applying to that uh, it's it's actually it's more space than we have here unfortunately it's only eight foot ceilings because it's a regular building not a commercial space but it's an old building it's uh, it was built in 1904 I think um, it's they're beautiful units so but we get uh, the neighborhood you're moving to historic uh, for the most part, it is. I mean, a lot of the a lot of the historical buildings in that area are you know, are long gone. There are a few historical buildings here and there that are, are they're protected. You know, they've got their heritage plaques and everything. And this is one of those buildings. Um, but it's uh, it's like right downtown. It's closer to downtown than we are right now, which uh, was commenting to Christina the other day. It's kind of ironic that uh, when we first moved back to Ontario. You know, moved, looked at prices in Toronto. We we're like, oh, we're going to have to live in the outskirts, you know, Scarborough or or North York or Etobicoke or somewhere, you know, farther away from the city, away from downtown, because of the prices. But the way things have been going right now, with COVID and the pandemic, a lot of people are actually leaving the center of Toronto. They want to get out where it's less densely populated and that sort of thing. So there's tons of vacancies in town. And our landlords are scrambling to get tenants to find tenants, and uh, so they're dropping their rent, they're dropping their prices, and they're doing things like offering a free month's rent. And uh, so, yeah, exactly, exactly, Rob. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 
So one more in this bag, in this pouch. Yeah, and that's one way to look at it. You know, we were uh, we were getting a little frisky uh, a couple of weeks ago, and you know, our our couch is our bed, right? We fold that out every night, and that becomes our bed. And unfortunately, it's on an adjoining wall. And won't deal with noisy neighbors. Uh, not at this point. Like the the unit that we'd be moving into, um, or to to finish my thought first. Um, so we're getting a little frisky, right? And suddenly we have this pounding on the wall because we're making too much noise, and that's. It's tough. You know, when the walls are not really well sound insulated, and uh, get scared with me because I just gotta wash my hands so I can move a few things around. And you know, since it was originally a factory, the floorboards go you know end to end the entire length of the building, right? So uh, even though the walls have been put up. You know, dividing it into units with the little stalls, uh, the floorboards go right through. So any noise here, you drop something here, and it sounds like it's here. It's dropped, being dropped on the other side wall, right? So structure, you know, nonetheless. Second bag. And then we'll pour the marinade in. Do a little bit of shaky, shaky, squishy, squishy, and uh, they'll be good to go. <clears throat> But uh, the place we move into, if, if we get this place and get approved, um, it's a two bedroom unit and it's old, old building. So uh, beautiful staircases in the building. Uh, the unit itself is only a one, a one floor unit. So we won't have the upper level at all, but um, great old kitchen, gas stove, um, you know, big windows in the front, place you're living in is soundproof. No, no, it's all wood frame. And you know the floors and ceilings are only you know three inches thick, and uh, so that was another problem. You know we spilled something up here, and it came through in the neighbor's ceiling downstairs. So they're not happy with us either. So, but this new place is 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 you know pretty soundproof. The you know there's plaster and lath walls, um, and it's meant to be separate units, right? So we have. Uh, we will be in a corner unit, so there's actually a stairway on one side of our unit. And then we have two exterior walls, and then the other side is adjoining another another unit, but it's adjoining by the bathroom. So um, there's hardly any connection to other units, and the floors and ceilings are, are thick enough, and they're double. You know, you have actual floor and an actual ceiling, so sound will not travel nearly as much. So looking forward to that. Uh, we are still looking for other places too, because there's no guarantee we're going to get this one. Um, and we're in no huge rush to move out of here. Like he hasn't, you know, they're not kicking us out. We're, we're voluntarily leaving. So it's kind of up to us when we, when we leave, as long as we you know, let them know. And being a commercial lease and he's, he's got people always looking for units in this building. So I don't think he'll have any problem renting it out. So we can give them two weeks notice, we can give them a month notice, whatever. Do a longer broadcasting new pad. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sure we will. I mean, the room that we're setting up for the workspace and, and that doesn't sound like a legal residential property. It, it's not, it's, it's, they call it live work, but you sign a commercial lease that basically implies that you're not living there. And they've been doing this for like 24 years. Um, so it seemed like a great thing, you know, it was, it was that doing, you know, hey, we got our little loft space and like live work and, but uh, when no walls in the unit, other than the bathroom, so privacy between us isn't that great. If one of us is on the phone and getting the work done without, you know, one interruption or another. Um, and then you're constantly hearing the neighbors, you're constantly hearing people walking back and forth outside in the hallway. Uh, we were joining an alley that's got, uh, a restaurant on the other side so several you know several times a week early in the morning you get the delivery trucks running out there or the garbage truck coming in and you know battling dumpsters and things like that uh, if we get this place the building or what the structure next to us is actually a parking garage and i think it's all actually a solid wall on the side that faces our building so we wouldn't really be, be hearing anything from the parking garage either 
Yeah, exactly. And you know, when we last lived in Toronto, we had this we had this arrangement as well. But we had we had a building that we had entirely to ourselves. It was a two thousand square foot uh, ex bakery in Riverdale, and uh, downstairs was the workshop. Upstairs was a little one bedroom apartment, so it was all divided up. You know, so you could actually one of us could get work done on the computer upstairs while the other one's running machine tools downstairs, and you know one doesn't interfere with the other but we can't do that here you know she can't be uh, editing a video or recording something while i'm drumming you know, likewise i can't be on a, on a phone call while she's you know drumming or or you know running a grinder or something yeah. so and this is one of the one of the buildings in toronto that's still kind of grandfathered into that it's you know like see a lot of the as newfoundlanders you probably know a lot of the the lofts in Toronto now, and all the old factory buildings that have all been completely converted and all the units have been completely renovated and they're their own independent self-contained spaces with uh, their own heating system and their own, you know, everything, everything, and concrete floors and ceilings and whatever. So uh, a lot, a lot more, you know, separated than this space is. So yeah. Uh, going into this, uh, this older residential building, we'll be able to have set one of the rooms as a, as a little workspace, and, you know, vent the, uh, yeah, vent the laser in the 3D printer out, out through a window, which won't interfere with anyone else. And uh, we'll have a separate living room, a separate, uh, you know, separate bedroom. If one of us needs to go to bed early or, 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 or one of us needs to stay up late, you know, we we don't have to interfere with each other here. It's like one of us is asleep on the on the couch, and the workspace lights are still on, or there's machines going on and stuff like that, or you know audio playing because uh, because of um, you know, doing some video editing or whatever. All right, so that is eleven drumsticks in each bag. Bear with me again. Wash up. Got to wash the faucets as well. I don't know if it's a high rise seventeenth floor end unit cuts down the neighbors. Well, exactly, yeah. I and mean, this would be a corner unit, so there's one one unit adjacent to us at the end of the hall. That's uh, that basically the bathroom walls are joined. But everything else is not connected to any other units at all. All righty. Now the fun part. Seventeenth floor. That's it's quite a ways up. This would be a third floor unit. So same as this third floor, but actual floor heights as opposed to industrial heights. Uh, Christina's out running, running a few errands. She's to uh, pop down to the post office to mail a couple of things and stop by the dollar store to pick up a few supplies. Uh, tonight we're going to do another uh, another creative broadcast, uh, working on painting the stuff that we printed last night and uh, a few a few new printed items as well. So she may or may not uh, return um, during the my broadcast. You know, but we're trying to get a little bit more exposure on HAPS anyway, you know, with the HAPS challenge and stuff like that going on. Um, so it's a, it's a great community. It's a great thing to be involved in, and we're, we're really liking HAPS and the people on HAPS. Okay. Work some of the air out of these. Are deep frying the chicken? No, we're going to bake them in the oven. We put them in a couple of baking sheets. And let them bake for a, for a while. But uh, yeah, we're going to let this sit in the marinade for a couple of hours, two, three hours, while we uh, get other stuff done. And we've got other stuff that we can have for um, for dinner, so that's not an issue. And I just sort of a little bit of additional stuff. I should have put this in the uh, in the mix. Right. 
They actually don't do the deep fries anymore. Deep frying way too many calories. And deep frying also doesn't work very well when you pull the skin off, right? Because the, the skin's sort of all, all pulled down to the uh, to the, the ankle. Ankle, I guess it is, or the knee, knee bone, the knee joint. Huh, I didn't get that far enough on. Open up you! Right, try that again. So, yeah, the past, uh, past few days have been kind of busy, kind of hectic. Trying to keep our, ourselves, you know, mentally afloat. Coping with, uh, with the space here and hunting for new places. And again, this there's no guarantee that we're going to get a full kitchen in, in, in the industrial unit. Uh, it is kind of. I mean, work, live, work, right? So they kind of built a counter along one wall, and there's a fridge and a stove and a, and a sink. So, well, look, there's Chris. Christina, she has stuff. Yeah, commercial, industrial, yeah. Either way, you know. A little bit of that extra in the pinch. There we go. Christina has stuff. That's Christina from her errands. So I assume she's dropped off the mail and she's at, she's finished at the, uh, the dollar store. Does that mean you're back on your way back? Recipe anymore to me. So, uh, taste the honey, it's worked and we fell for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, a little bit of squishy, squishy. Squishy, squishy, mushy, mushy. Is your phone still doing that? For some reason, she misspelled four one time. Just out of, you know, speed typing, right? Clumsy fingers, so we all do it. And uh, her phone remembered it was fur instead of four. So she's constantly talking about evergreens and trees. Mail to Vince and Bobby has been put in a post box. Nice. Awesome. Marinating. Just got the chicken all peeled back. And uh, there's an F M6 here that we needed two bags. I think the day hole would not have fit in one, so that sound. That sound, what's that sound? Stop, hey, what's that sound? Is it too overwhelming on the mic? But I opted not to go with a, with a, with a headset mic for this broadcast because I'm like right here, like two feet from the, from the iPad. Tastes better than it sounds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Those are going to be awesome. Zippers are still shut. That sound. Um... Okay, folks, bear with me for a sec. I'm putting these back in the fridge. We'll let these uh, slosh, slosh, slosh. Let's squish, squish. One bag, two bag. And voila. So that's that. I'll let those sit for a couple of hours, two, three hours. with me for a sec, folks, while I uh, just do a little bit of washing here. And ham and raw chicken. Um, so I'm to get the salmon all everywhere. You kind of have to wonder, people are uh, worried about, about COVID-19. I wonder how many people are uh, forgetting about things like salmon all. Okay, I'm going to start my buddy, put my phone in my pocket, and super walk. All right, little Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, after the broadcast, we'll get ourselves out and do a little bit, uh, a little bit more pokey hunting, get a couple of gyms and stuff like that. Starting to go stir crazy. Oh, I guess are you are you completely locked down? 
uh, need to get back to work. Yeah. Oh yeah, we know it. I mean, doing a little bit of this kind of stuff. We haven't actually had any official official work, but uh, trying to get our our business and our online uh, online store up and running. And, uh, and the challenges around that. It, it's it's definitely a challenge doing the work from home because you feel like you never leave work, even when you're you know. Okay, work's done. Oh no, wait, it's not done. We're gonna stop for dinner, and then we're gonna get more work done. And then, oh look, it's one o'clock in the morning. We gotta get to bed. You know, <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but having being able to have a separate space to do that work out is uh, is gonna help a lot. All right. So there we go. That is done. I'm gonna put away the oil. The way the, the massive jar of honey, Ontario honey, pick this up down uh, down in uh, the uh, Niagara Peninsula. It's a local honey in the apiary that uh, that uh, does it. Um, has has beehives all over the uh, Niagara Peninsula, so they're pollinating a lot of the uh, the winery crops and a lot of the other uh, the orchards and stuff around that area. So that's. Uh, Actually, very, very cool. Oh, that's my camera. Hands up. There we go. Grab the iPad from the wrong end. A little bit of soy sauce. All right, folks. Leaving the, the kitchen area. You can see it receding behind me there. So, yeah, that's that's basically that's the kitchen area, Newfoundlander. So, just uh, here. I have to cover it up again. I'm just going to use my phone to prop it a little bit so it's not so so far down. So that means Christina is on her way back. Can't even walk the dog. It's too dang cold. Well, yeah, it's like my uh, when we when we last looked before Christina headed out around uh, I think it was around five o'clock, so a little over an hour ago, um, or yeah, I guess a little over an hour ago. Uh, it was minus seven. Feels like minus thirteen with the wind chill. So uh, <laughs> it was not fun. And overnight it was like minus ten or something like that. So it's it's not definitely not uh, not very fun. But hey, at least Toronto gets its winter now. After you know we've been spending the past month or so going, we're not having a winter here. There's no snow. We've had a little bit here and there, and the temperatures haven't been that cold. And all of a sudden we get this Arctic snap, and uh, you know, four inches of snow or, or or something along those lines. And you know the plows are out, and all the snow clearing equipment, and the uh, the salt trucks. And, uh, you know, all the sidewalks are the sidewalks that are being shoveled. Uh, there's a lot of sidewalks that aren't being shoveled, so that kind of makes it a little treacherous. Um, I'd say, I'd say, outstay the complaining neighbors. Outstay the complaining neighbors. Or you'd stay out because of the complaining neighbors. Well, that's the thing, too, is so much of what we're doing, so much of what we have to do is here. You know, we've got the computer, we've got the web page to work on, we've got the 3D printer and the laser cutter and uh, the projects on the, on the table. Uh, I get even louder. <laughs> Contemplating doing that in the last couple of weeks that we're here, but um, you didn't hear that from me. And, or you didn't hear that from Christina, I'm sure. But, uh, I mean, when you can't have a, a conversation above a certain decibel level at 9 p.m., without the neighbor contacting the super and saying, oh, they're being so loud again. You know, meanwhile, neighbor, it's usually the neighbor on this side. The neighbor on the other side, she's got her TV up uh, fairly loud um, later into the night and uh, stay there. It's not working for us, though. I mean, it's, it's a great space. We thought it was a great space. It was that kind of pipe dream. Hey, we'll see you soon, Martin. See the rest of you tonight. We will be on later on. Uh, to do a bit of a creative broadcast. Hear what? Hear what? 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 Hear what? How's the print doing, by the way? It sounds like you're doing okay. I haven't heard any uh, rattles or crashes or anything coming from the uh, from the printer. I see a long, tall, skinny thing building on the on the uh, bed. I'm just going to do this. Ta -da! Printing away, printing away, printing away. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Didn't hear that from us, from anyone. But, 
um, yeah, later on we'll go on and uh, we'll reveal that that 3D print that's going right now. It'll we'll probably get another another hour and we will be on at uh, I believe it's 8 p.m. Eastern. And then uh, we'll do some uh, we're going to do some paint finishing on the little medallions we printed last night and doing a little bit of molding and casting for the uh, lightsaber project that we're doing for our friend and uh, a couple of other little things like that. No, God, no, not even. Not when you have 400 square feet more, better chance of place designed to live in for 400 less a month. Yeah, our overall expenses are going to go down by about 400 um, because partly because of GSC, you know, with the commercial. Uh, where's the missus? That's her just on the comment above yours. She's on her way back. Did I just show the, the printer? Yes, I did. Thank you, the high word. You locked away. Oh, wait, you're, you're, you're multitasking, right? You're, oh, no, you, you said you're, uh, you started your buddy and you, uh, Oh, it froze. Well, you're out there, right? So, of course, it's going to freeze. Yeah, I'll call back the uh, So, yes. Love bug. She is uh, running some errands. She's on her way back right now. So, we'll probably see her in about 10 minutes. Comments seem to lag. There you go. There you go. Printing away. Uh, we've not gotten a new place yet. We're just filling out the paperwork for the application right now. We needed to get a letter from our bank stating that, uh, yes, we have money. And uh, we need to get a letter from the um, uh, form sign from the landlord. Hang on one sec. Oh. Hi. I am. Yeah, I'm using your iPad. I've got Christina on the phone right now. Is it? Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. It is the wolf moon. Christine is on the phone now. She just called, tried calling me. And um, yeah, Newfoundland is saying the comments are, are lagging a little bit. Oh, does it? Yeah, fun. Hey, Harold. <laughs> And I accidentally rejected your call when I answered it and had to call you back. Technology. Yes, folks, it's the first full moon of 2021. It's the wolf moon. So, hang on. Hang on a sec. Yeah. This is like having a guest, a guest uh, broadcaster. There, in my pocket. there we go, folks. <laughs> Phone's in your pocket and you don't know what to do with it. Phone in my pocket. Phone in my bucket. There's a hole in Thank my you, bag. Thank you, love bug. Super hard award. Thank bag. you, love bug. Super hard award. There's a hole in my bag, Martin. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Wait a minute. I, shouldn't, I, I'm literally... shouldn't, shouldn't I be saying that? <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. <gasps> what? Are you suggesting I'm a bag? No, 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 no. But you know, you know what it means. Because I'm insulted. Yes, it I, means, means we're not we're that, not that kind, kind of broadcast. Of broadcast. <laughs> Hard, a little harder to do over the phone, but yeah. I, I can't see any of Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. I can't see a damn clue. Oh, I know, I know, I know. That's quite all right. So, Everyone... you know, because I'm not wearing makeup when I get home, I'm not coming anywhere near the camera. Oh, that's right, yeah. There. She's, she's going to hide her face because she went out without makeup. <laughs> Newfoundlanders waiting high. Lots of smiley faces from Love Bug. Yay! Yeah, it had to be done. Tonight we're going to do... Um... <laughs> What? Jeff, we're going to the phones. Go ahead. Caller, you are on the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What's for That's dinner? So yeah. You're beating your Liza. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Love well, Bug's asking, right? what's for dinner? We're actually going to probably do some, like, uh, chips and yogurt and, and avocado for dinner because those drumsticks are going to sit and uh, marinate for at least a couple hours. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll bake them in the oven later on tonight, maybe while the broadcast is going on or after the broadcast. Then fix it, dear Christina, then fix it. <laughs> no, there's a, it's a cheapy dollar just, store bag. I it's know. just like, I was three steps out the door and there's a tear. Oh, no. <sighs> so I'm very yeah. carefully walking straight up and down, trying not to swing the bag, which is a difficult thing for me. <sighs> She's so animated when she walks. I just, I want to swing the bag. I want to just like skip in front of cars and say, neener, 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 I'm going to be happy no matter what. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Oh, I know. I Everyone know. could hear her? Yeah. I wish I could cast apps to my TV. Oh, yeah. 
Oh boy. Awesome. Love I'm bug, definitely not going on camera scissor. when I get back. I'm talking about makeup on. No, oh, I'm not talking about me casting. Lovebug says she wishes she could cast the TV. Oh, okay. Tie a knot around know. the hole. <laughs> Newfoundlander says tie a knot around the hole. No, it's like halfway down the bag. I'm very, oh, it's I like the sides tie. Yeah. yeah, I moved everything large to that corner and put everything small to the other corner. And I'm hoping I didn't drop anything. Just a few, you know, just a few steps out the door, so... Probably lucky enough that I didn't. Right. But yeah, it is freaking cold out here. Mm hmm So does it feel like minus 13? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so we might go do some car pokey hunting later? Yes. Yes. Yes, once I re-sign into my Pokemon, it, it's not uh, it's not working. Mm hmm Oh, that's right. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. So we should put a timer on tonight's broadcast. Yep. Two hours. No, seriously, folks. Two hours. <laughs> we keep doing these three and a half, four hour broadcasts. We broadcast until the mic. We, we broadcast them until the wireless mics run out of power. You know, and it's like, oh, suddenly there's no audio. Oh, we should probably be going then. <laughs> well, we should invite a few people in tonight. Which we should, yes. Try to see if we can avoid the echo, but we won't be using multiple cameras this time. So that's true. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we'll be at the table again and, and doing castings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We should let Dawn Love, Loves Dragon know that we're uh, we're working on her lightsaber, so oh, she. That's right, yeah. And we're changing things. Okay. I'm excited to see that miniature lightsaber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right friend. now, right now it's just a little tower being built. So, bring your own yeah. bag to the dollar store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I had a moment. And it was for the longest time. I think there. I think most stores are okay with bringing your own bags now. But for the longest time, the stores weren't allowing you to because of the pandemic. They didn't want to touch other people's, you know, <laughs> other people's bags. <laughs> that, that, that sounds wrong. So that really sounds wrong. So many levels. Just, just, just as long as we don't start saying junk. <laughs> Touching my junk. Yeah, exactly. Is Christina walking? Yeah, she's walking. Cheap bags at the dollar store. Yep. Christina was going stir crazy. Yeah. So right. Christina looked at Martin and said, "You cook, I go." Yep. Uh. Uh, Rocky. Uh. You cook, and it was I partly go. because you know because Martin went to storage locker earlier to pick up some materials, so I got my fresh air. Now she's getting her fresh air. It, it sounds so tribal. We're leaving words out. Mm. Of it. Martin mm. went to storage mm. locker. Mm. Martin go storage. Mm. Martin Goose George. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, it's pretty cold. Mm -hmm. I got my, my wrap wrapped around me and I have to put my mask on though. You guys won't be able to hear mm -hmm. properly so when I get to the front door. <laughs> yeah. Like Kenny. Oh my God. Oh my God, they killed Kim. Again? <laughs> that joke got old pretty fast for me. I know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, your nose hair is freezing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> when you do inhale and you just feel everything crystallizing into your sinuses. Yeah. But I'm Canadian. I can do this. We can handle it. Yep. We're designed that way. It's what we do. Like the saying goes, <laughs> we love it here. <laughs> well, I do a long coat. You know, that helps. Yep. Long coat and a shawl. Double socks, big boots. Yep. Killer boots. My killer killer boots. Well, oh. Bud says, oh, good. Had a breakdown the other day, being isolated literally for 10 months. It's it's really tough, yeah. I mean, we, we, tried, we tried to get out. I love Bud. We tried to get out oh. once a day, you know. There have been some days where we've been stuck indoors and we're, you know, we're ready to kill each other. Yeah. Literally. You know, and that that's, one, that's another... That's another reason to move, guys. And that's another reason to find a place with walls. Yeah. There are times where Martin and I are working on two different things. And only have one room. Like, Martin can't make phone calls while I'm editing video. You know, mm. I can't make phone calls if he's on the phone next to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's... Or if one of us, uh, one of us needs to go to bed early, you know, we can't sleep right because the other one's still on the computer working or, or working with the laser or the 3D printer or running a Dremel. Whatever. <laughs> Factor too. If one of us gets sick, guys, both mm -hmm. of us will have to quarantine for two weeks. Yep. 
if we have a place with rooms, one of us gets sick, you quarantine in that room. The other one goes and does the shopping and whatever and leaves mm -hmm. at your door. Slides food under the door, right? <laughs> under the door. Yeah. It's all, What's this cat door? It's all going to be flat food, yeah. Did you install a cat door so your cat can go in and out? Can't yeah, you just right. leave the door open? Well, that's in case one of us gets COVID. That's right, yeah. You can pass food through. Yeah, but you know what, guys? With, with everyone moving out of the city, we can get a place that's 300 square foot bigger with walls, you know, for the same price. Minus and the no GSA, additional yeah. no, <laughs> no taxes, yeah. No, yeah, no additional taxes. And we can get rid of one of the storage lockers, not both of them, unfortunately, but one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a win-win. It's a frustrating win because that means we have to try to move in the middle of COVID. Mm -hmm. But, you know, part, yeah. get a couple of friends who are you know, equipped with sanitizer and masks and a lot of respect for each other. We can do it. Yeah. So Lovebug says, on my own, you're lucky to have each other. Sometimes we're lucky to have each other. Not always. <laughs> I can't see his face, folks. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm, I'm being facetious. Um, also, her nephew has COVID, not feeling good at all. I'll sort of hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is it. It's very real. All the people that say that it's a hoax and it's fake. And it's like, you, everyone on this planet has got to know somebody who's been directly affected by COVID. I mean... We know a few. Yeah, we know a few. We 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 know a few people, you know, secondhand who have passed away. We know at least one person in our immediate circle who passed away, you know, that we knew directly. Um, you know. We have a fair friend whose seventeen year old son got COVID and is gone. Yeah. Seventeen. Because yep. he has an immune uh, immune system disorder. Mm -hmm. And the virus got in him and that was it. Yeah. He was done. And that's young. And people without any, any previous health concerns or anything. It's no hoax. He's very ill and he has four small children. Oh, no. Yeah, you gotta... We gotta pull together as a society. We gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like a whole bunch of small trips like this. And most of the shopping or anything we do is, is at the end of the mm -hmm. day. Um, because most people aren't around because they don't want to be out in the cold. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind being out in the cold. And that means I'm safer. That's fine. Yeah. Especially when there's fewer people out there, right? Yeah, like you said. Yeah, you know. hey, I was like next to no one in the dollar store. Newfoundlander says my husband is working from home as well. Yeah. 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 It's very sad and scary. The whole the whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, and this is it. for years, Martin and I have been hearing people say at least you got each other. There's there's as many drawbacks <laughs> of being a couple, especially for this long, as there are not being a couple. Mm hmm. And, you know, there was a time when I was younger and when someone said, you're lucky to be married, I was like, yeah. And then life went on and I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, everything costs twice as much, but there's no guarantee that you're going to make twice as much. Yep. Your taxes are higher, especially in Canada. I don't know what it's like in the States, but our taxes are higher. If we had stayed common law instead of getting married, we'd be mm -hmm. paying less taxes. Yeah. The government says, okay, you guys are married, you should be making twice as much, so we're going to charge you differently. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, yeah, it's nice to cuddle. It's nice to have someone there to cuddle, but there are nights where I'm looking at Martin going, get off the freaking bed, you're generating heat again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you uh, know, and I cuddle with a cat instead. Yeah. Newfoundlander, I keep booting myself out of the room. Are you uh, dropping, dropping out of the broadcast periodically or repeatedly? Yeah, I think House is having is, is having a few uh, update issues as well. We were noticing it was lagging quite a bit. Um, it's about the time of day. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people are. I'm noticing a bunch of pop-ups going on. So and so is live. So and so is live. Peter and Pablo are live right now with the uh, recap of the broadcast of the week. So. Uh, oh yeah. And, imagine having no track. hugs for a year. I would kill for a hug. Love bug. Uh, we. So would uh, we. I mean, yes, we can hug each other, and we do quite frequently it's but boring it's, it's yeah it's like what you again you? Uh, yeah okay sure oh God, there, you. That's all right. but uh yeah. like christina keeps Wear saying some yeah. different clothes exactly <laughs> restyle your hair for me, will you? 
Oh, I should have brought the Klingon headpiece from the locker, you know? Damn. <laughs> the Kosh no, head. I, am. I could wear the Kosh head. As Martin's always put it, I'm very gregarious. Yep. I'm having only one person in my life. It took him a few years to realize this because I, I kept saying that you're enough when it comes to those things, but you're not enough when it comes to everything else. You know, I worked hard to, to be in the position I was in to get away from a lot of the... Uh, bullying and a lot of the insulting and a lot of the degrading mm -hmm. parts of my life and i rely very much on having a lot of people around me oh, hugging me well. and communicating with me and working alongside me and creating with me and mm -hmm. you know i'm used to sitting in a cafe in the middle of a busy street and just watching people go by and closing my eyes and listening to all the conversations and this mm -hmm. is actually driving me pretty crazy folks yeah. I'm happy I have you people. Do not take hugs for granted, Lobug says. Oh, no. She's asking us to no, hug no. each other for her. Okay. I can do that. Yep. Oh, no. And Christina okay. said it on several occasions. You know, once this whole thing is lifted and we can, uh, everyone can take off their masks and be within six feet of each other, she's just going to run them up through downtown Toronto, hugging everyone she can see. You know, even that smelly guy at Young and Dundas you know, that, uh, oh that likes to sing at the top of his lungs. And we can't, still can't understand what he's singing. Uh, nope. But he's happy. <laughs> but he's happy, you know. He'll stand in the middle of the four-way intersection at Young and Dundas while, while all the crosswalks are, are going. And... Yeah. And then there's those two guys who carry an Ikea couch around the city and take pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. And good, in the good. middle of the intersections Basically. and on the, the streetcar tracks. And... Yeah, they, they come in, they drop the couch in the middle of the road, they take their pictures, and they pick the couch up and go before the next cars come, you know. And it's quiet enough right now they can do that. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. I just passed the most beautiful husky. The beautiful husky. Oh, is that 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 really like over hyper, very yeah. ill behaved? He's getting husky? better. He's getting better. He's getting better. Yeah. Daddy had a tiny little tug on the leash and said, "Stay." And he oh, just Daddy's sat walking. down and. Okay. You know, when mommy walks him, he is uncontrollable. He's jumping up and jumping on her. You love the couch guys. Nice. Love bugs. I love, yeah, the couch, love the couch guys. guys the couch guys, couch guys are great. Yeah. I want to get in the cosplay and do some couch stuff with them. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. We find out where they're going to be and we photobomb their couch photos. We just like <laughs> run in at the last second and, and join them. Oh, my God. At six feet, of course, but, you know. As Jedi, we'll guarantee the six feet distance. That's right. Yeah, one lightsaber apart. That's right. That's right. So I guess you're on our block then, are you? What makes you say that? Because you have to be oh, past that husky, right? They're in the, they're in the neighboring uh, housing complex. Yes. Yeah, when Daddy walks him, he's well-behaved. When Mommy walks him, not so much. He's all over the place. He's try trying to jump up on her, and she's yelling at him, and, you know, just... We know who's in control. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it comes to the cats, Martin, who's in control of that household, huh? Oh, you're the alpha by far. Yep, I'm the alpha kitty. I have, I have Hathor on one side of me on the couch. I have Baxter on the other end of the couch. And Tiffin's curled up under the tower. They had their dry food before I started cooking, uh, or before I started making the marinade. And uh, so they're all nice and tired and you know, sleepy. I hear keys. Yes, I am just taking my glove off so I can find oh my, my keys. Back, what are you whispering? Don't, don't tell her I was broadcasting. Oh, wait, she's on. She, um, she kind of knows. Hello. <laughs> right. Did we figure it out? Yeah, yeah really. Hmm. Again, it reminds me of that uh, that broadcast that I was trying to get on. It was talking about you know men and, men and women relationships and and stuff like that. And they're like, oh, we're not going to let you on because, you know, she's going to see you and you're, you're not going to have, you're not going to be true to your words. It's like, but she could see the broadcast anyway. He walks mom and dad walks him. Yep, exactly. The Husky. Yeah. So she's going to be, she, Christina's going to sound a little muffled now because she's had to put her mask on coming into the building. That's right. I'm waiting for the two in front of me. Do you want me to? <laughs> You having a hard time with your key? Oh, that's interesting. It's upside down for some reason. What, the lock? Or... Yep. 
I noticed my my key got jammed in the lock earlier. I had, uh, this is not the I first to, time. Yeah. That, there you they go. they fixed that lock like four times since we moved in. I think yep. people are. I think part of the problem is people are using the key to pull the door open. Right? You stick the key in, you turn it, and then you pull open by the key. Usually because you've got armloads of whatever, and uh, right. so it puts a lot of strain on the tumblers. Bends them out of shape. Let's see how well, cold it was, Christina. Yeah, she's gonna come in. Uh, so, Christina, you're not wearing makeup. Are you okay if they see you in your coat and you're bundled up as you come in the door? <laughs> I'm heading straight for the washroom. All, the, all they'll see is your eyes, really. You know, so. Here we go. Uh, it'll just be a background shot. I'm at the couch. So that's that's our, our doorway up there. Oh, the echoes of staircase. Our doorway and our casting materials that I picked up earlier in the little red wagon with what's left of groceries, things that, that aren't perishable that we still have to make find homes for. And then, uh, yeah, once she's in, then uh, I think what I'll do is I'll sign off, guys, and uh, we'll uh, we'll make ourselves some food, and we'll be on in about uh, a little over an hour. Wow, really? Yeah, it's quarter to seven right now, so we have a quick meal and uh, clear off that one work table so that we can work on the other projects, and then uh, we're ready to rock and roll. I hear keys again. I'm contemplating a walk. Yeah. There she is. Like she's coming in from the the, the the frozen planet of Hoth. Oh, okay. I got to turn off the phone now. Or uh, hang up, hang up. Push, push your button. <laughs> We're getting echoes, echoes. Yeah. No, you can push your own buttons. Maybe I can push my own buttons. That's so fun. There we go. All bundled up. That's true, yeah. Uh, that'll work. We'll deal with it later. So, folks. Are they respecting themselves? Oh, yeah, you, you want to do that then? <laughs> no. Oh, she's, she's going to go and, and be indisposed. So, I will. I will come back on with you guys and... Uh, we will uh, we will see you guys in a little over an hour. We're going to come back on and do a little bit of uh, creative stuff, some painting and molding and casting. Take care, get warm. See you later. Thank you, Newfoundlander. And yeah, check us out at eight p.m. Uh, eight p.m. Eastern time, and uh, we'll see you guys all there. And like Christina does say, respect yourself more than anyone else can, and everything will be just fine. Hey, Boba Fett, check it. Check us back in about an hour. We're going to get go on and do some creative stuff. So. I'm just signing off on this one right now, and uh, we'll see you guys in an hour. And uh, as she always asks me, bye, Martin. See you guys soon. <laughs>